Hey guys, welcome to Tushar Vlogs. So in this video, we are getting a uh, prepared on the Jeep. So when I got the Jeep, I got a free program for 40 months where I could get any scratches, any windshield repairs, any interior leather repairs, uh, provided they are small. Stone chips for the size of a penny, if they are. And I could get them repaired free of course. So today we have a guy coming up uh, to repair the stone chip which we have on the jeep so let's get going and see how he does the repair probably you guys can get some ideas on how to uh, repair the stone chips on your jeep we have good adherence for the paint i don't know if it's under the bonnet as well do you think just so right no. yeah so we just make sure it's good and clean yeah and you're just trying to see how big it is we just want to make sure that there's nothing other than what's obvious do you know what i mean nothing flecking off nothing flaking Just right around the edges. What tool is this? Well, this is actually an artist's highliner. Oh, wow. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill this small well here, ink well, mm -hmm. with, with paint. With the paint. Ah. And then we're going to just slightly touch it to try to not put more paint on that's necessary. Because sometimes with a brush, it becomes a dab or a blob of something and it doesn't have the best look when you're completed so we're going to use this fine instrument yeah. now you're planning to mix the paint so the paint is mixed so how do what you assure the color do? color is will match uh, because it's the exact color code from your car oh, wow it's bright white matches exactly so now we filled the well with mm. the paint and what we need to do now is primer to get it going you can see the last car I worked on was silver earlier today mm. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the same thing with this guy so you'll have to tap it yeah we just got to get it get it running here see now you see it coming through mm. okay good so now we got that, let's take our magnifier. And then probably once you are done, you clean this, right? Before leaving here? Clean this? Yeah. It goes into my jar of oh, um, okay. uh, acetone, yeah. Okay. So these ones are a little bit more challenging, just simply because it's over. On a sort of flat surface, but we don't want any of that paint to come out. There we go. This is working fine. And it puts a uniform amount of paint on as you touch it, but we have to be careful because it's still kind of probably wet. And I don't want to make it. What if you hold it like, uh, what do you call it, horizontally? Uh, it has to be at a Sorry, certain... Vertical. Sort of has to be a certain angle on the metal or on the surface oh. in order for it to draw the paint out. That makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it, yeah. otherwise, it won't.
Yeah. So we're just taking it right back to the... There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. So we're dropping that paint there. Now, I think we'll just let that dry. And I think that mm -hmm. is about as, deep, as much paint um, volume as we want to put on there. We don't want it to be... Mm -hmm. We don't want it to be bubbly. Hmm. <clears throat> so that was the process on how to repair the stone chips on your Jeep. Uh, let me know if you have some comments for me. And it was a short video, but hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much. Do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.